Hi there, I'm Garth, one of the animators from Persistent Peril, and we're going to show you how we animate cats. Here in the studio, we use a mixture of different software for animation, editing, and then rendering out the final film. We use uh, Wacom's and Wacom Cintiqs. They are drawing tablets that allow you to use a stylus to input straight into the computer, which saves you having to draw it out and scan in or take a picture of your artwork, uh, which saves a lot of time and is a really direct and really fun way to draw. Once we receive a script or an idea from Cats Protection, we create an animatic. An animatic is a series of timed out storyboards, a bit like a comic strip. So we start in animate and we do everything very roughly and very quickly so it can be changed and we can work out the best way to tell the story. So here we've got a transition from a Cats Protection branch into our cat. The stethoscope comes in, the cat goes to pour at it and then the vet's hand checks his heart rate Another series of hands come in and microchip the cat, and then we leave him. We then take this into Adobe uh, Premiere, where we edit everything together to create a very rough version of the film that everyone can watch and talk about and have input on and hopefully make the best film possible. So once we're happy with our animatic, we then create a shot list, which breaks down all the elements that we need to design. Using our shot list as a guide, we go through the film and design all of the elements. We tend to design everything quite flat and quite bold and use simple, clean shapes which allow us to animate things as efficiently as possible whilst keeping things really fun and playful. Every element that we create is designed for purpose. So we think about how that hand will need to move, um, what does that cat need to do, does it need to blink, does it need to run, does it need to jump, and we design everything accordingly. Here's our cat from the animatic. You can see he's pouring at the stethoscope that the hand's holding, and his eyes are made up of a series of lines and shapes, so that way we can manipulate his mouth or his ears without needing to redraw the shape every time, which is much quicker um, and allows for smoother animation our end. Once we're happy with our designs and everything looks good, we send it over to Cats Protection to make sure that the cats look good and that everything's correct, and then we move on to animation. So here we have our cat, um, very, very crudely drawn, very, very rough, but as you can see, there's a stethoscope coming in and the cat looking. Here's our rough hand moving in to grab it. It's all very crude and very rough, and it's just designed to help us time out the scene, make sure that we're getting the movement down before we start cleaning up, which takes much longer. And this way we can be really confident, really happy that everything's moving as it should do and that the timing works and everything feels nice. Once we've finished our roughs, we then move on to cleanup. So here you can see our artwork cat. And using the roughs as a guide, we then move through frame by frame, cleaning up all the elements and reusing what we can and trying to make sure that everything's smooth and flows and is as 3D as possible and as fun as possible too. So rather than redraw our cat every frame, we're moving the elements that we've designed around, adding poses, adding expressions, and then reusing those wherever we can. And so the cat's head uh, would have its eyes and its nose all nested inside. So that way when we move it, everything moves together. And this allows us to create fluid animation uh, much quicker than redrawing it frame by frame. Make sure that everything's nice and fluid. There's our hands coming in. There's the microchip. Here's our hands coming with the bowl. Once our cleanup is complete, we then bring that animation into After Effects for compositing. Here we layer everything up, make sure that um, if it's got texture, we add texture, um, bring in all the different elements together. This then is rendered out back into our edit and then we watch it alongside the roughs and work in progresses just to make sure that the film's flowing, everything's working well and if we need to make any changes we can. Once everyone's happy with that and it's signed off, it goes off to have music and sound effects added um, which really brings the film alive. We then bring this back, show it to Cat's protection, make sure everyone's really happy with it and then we're finished. And that's how we animate a cat here at Persistent Peril. I hope you found it interesting, and if you want to see more of our work, you can find us at persistentperil.com or on Instagram at pp underscore studio. Thanks.